da da. This week in Grow Bio. So this week we have successfully finished the bag molding growth form technique. We're pretty stoked about that. We have sewed relentlessly and sealed plastic bag forms. And you'll be able to see what it's like to grow into a fabric bag mold, mm -hmm. bag growth form, right. and what it's like to grow into a plastic growth form in which you remove the plastic afterwards. Right. Uh, what fabric did you use for that? Uh, I used a woven cotton. Woven cotton, okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. I think that one's gonna look beautiful. They're filled now, they're growing, and next week they'll be done growing, we'll pop them in the dryer, and then we'll show them, show you, what we've got. That's right. So the brick form has been out, but we decided to take our logo off of the brick form and just go with like a, a plain brick. I think it looks really nice. Uh, we'll have footage of that, and it's coming out right now. So, large panel. Um, large panel. That right. one's been going for a while now. Yeah. They've been growing for two and a half weeks. Which means the study is done. Okay, so what you're seeing here is on the left, we've got the panel that went immediately into the dryer. The panel in the middle, we let grow for an extra two weeks out in the open air. Yep, oxygen and, rich. Exactly. And then the panel on the right that we're taking the pod off of has been growing inside this humid, carbon dioxide rich environment for the other uh, two weeks. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be able to compare the strengths on all three of these and see which growing and drying technique gives you the best strength. That's right. They are in the oven now. We just put them in this morning. Mm -hmm. They're going to be drying and once they're done, we're going to cut them up into little pieces, send them over to the Instron testing room, and see which panel is stronger. Next, Next week in, in Grow Bio. I always smile when we do that. I always smile too. Yeah. I just, I don't want them to think I'm mean. <laughs> Next week in Grow Bio, we'll punch. Next week, we're going to be launching some new forms on the Grow Bio store. We have a desk organizer that actually fits on top of the square planter. Yeah. Um, it becomes a desk set, so you'll be able to store your phone, your pencils, whatever, um, in cool mycelium gear. Stay tuned for that. We also have uh, some basic shapes due to the popularity of the square tile. Mm -hmm. We're going to be launching a circle and a hexagon. Oh, gosh. How would you, wait, we have to do it together. Give me some sides. <laughs> so we've been working on updating the tutorials on different growth form techniques on how to make growth forms at home. One of those techniques for people who have a CNC machine at home, a CNC machine in their living room, <laughs> and a, a thermoformer, <laughs> vacuum former. Yep, a, a vacuum former, AKA interchangeable. What is the name? Well, it, it just depends if you're like, oh, did you thermoform that or no, I have vacuum format. They're the same. Don't be confused. They're the same. I'm confused. But if you happen to have either of those named objects in your home, yeah. we're going to show you how to make a grow form using that. This is uh, probably one of the most legitimate techniques. It's the technique that we use here at Ecovative to make all of our custom packaging parts and all of our molded shapes. That's right. We use the thermoformer and CNC. You'll be able to get repeatable um, high volume production growth forms yeah. with this technique. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned for that. Uh, oh, I know this one. Oh, this one I'm really excited about. We have accessories coming out. Uh, no, we don't. We um, do. We're going to be adding a few new products to the store. So a lot of people, you know, they're working with this mycelium, they'll grow one project. But if you want to grow multiple projects, you want to work with this long term, like we've got some, we call them power users out there. These people, they need additional supplies. And so we want to show you the supplies that we used here at Ecovative, the supplies we use at Grow Bio to work on our projects. Things like gloves, mm -hmm. it, scales, mm -hmm. hydrometers. Yep. Yeah, so we're going to be coming out with some accessories. We've been thinking about putting out other things like stickers or printed versions of the instruction booklet for people that want a hard copy version, CO2 monitors, incubation pods, filter patch bags. Yeah, if there's any accessories that you think would be helpful, let us know. Uh, we'll figure something out. We'll make it work. Yep, yep, yep. We got your backs. Yep. If a machete would help you grow mycelium better, we can talk oh, about I think that. we did it. I think we did it. Let's do... Uh, That's it. Let's we did goodbye. it. Let's say goodbye. Okay. Um, Mahalo. Awesome. Mahalo. Thank you for watching. <laughs> it's been 
Awesome. We'll see you again next week. Shalom. What is that? Does that mean goodbye? Alvita say. What does that mean? They're goodbye. <laughs> Does they all mean goodbye? We have an international audience.